Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good afternoon. Whatever it is. Um, I'm going to show you quick what I'm looking at. So basically, <clears throat> on the chart, we're going to find bars. Okay, and these bars are either going to be, um, they're going to be over one standard deviation. So if we find one that's over one standard deviation, so over the average and over one standard deviation, um, which was 564 bars out of, out of 10,000 bars, I believe it was. I don't know. Three, six, yeah, one, one full year. I don't know, but um, these these bars got over one standard deviation, okay? And um, there's a 26% chance that it's going to be over one standard deviation, okay? 26% of the bars are over uh, one standard deviation. And then what are the odds, if it goes over one standard deviation, what are the odds that it'll actually close Right? This is a candle body. We're not doing ATR. We're doing candle body. And what, what are the odds that it will actually go uh, and close lower than one standard deviation? So if it goes over, above one standard deviation, what is the chances it will actually close underneath it? Um, and it's about 50%. Um, <clears throat> if it goes greater than one standard deviation, what are the odds that it will actually go another one? It will go greater than two standard deviations. And that's actually relatively high. So that's a 60-40 opportunity. Um, you can't place bets on a 60-40 chance. Not strong enough for me. So what are the odds that will actually close less than standard, two standard deviations? Well, 83%. Now, um, that doesn't make sense because if price gets above two standard deviations, you now have to go into this column and know when does it close underneath two standard deviations at this point. It's actually uh, 50, whatever, 50% 50 chance, probably not even that. So it's like a, a little bit higher. It's like a 60% chance that it'll actually, if it goes above two standard deviation, two standard deviations, it'll actually close less than two standard deviations, right? Now, what happens if it goes three standard deviations? Well, if it goes three greater than three standard deviations, there is a 50% chance that it'll close less than three standard deviations. So there is no edge in once it crosses a threshold, once it crosses over one standard deviation, what are the odds it'll close underneath it? It's a 50% chance. If it goes above two standard deviations, what are the chances it'll close underneath two standard deviations? And it's it's about 50% every single time, okay? Um, it'll keep on going all the way down, and then there's... Uh, once it gets the five standard deviations, which is a huge candle, which is only 1% of all candles in the world, um, um, then it becomes a 60% chance. But there were only 19 samples, so you can't really mess with that. Um, the most important edge that we're trying to find, because those 50 percenters don't give us any edge. We need edge, dude. We need some, like, 9 out of 10 times this is going to happen. That's what I want, okay? So, naturally, I have to be gravitated towards these, towards these 16 percent, 6 percent, 93 percent, 97 percent, all these big ones, right? So, what do these mean? So, it goes, so, on the candles that go greater than one standard deviation, if it goes greater than three standard deviations, um, so it goes greater than three standard deviations, what are the odds that it'll actually um, go more than three standard deviations? Go more, go to four standard deviations? It's a 40% chance. And then it's an 80% chance that it'll actually close less than four standard deviations. That's a good thing. So. <clears throat> of these one standard deviation candles, there's a 80% chance that it won't. Look at this. So, of these one standard deviation candles, there is a 85% uh, chance that it will not go above three standard deviations. Now, if it does go with a greater than two standard deviations, <laughs> if, if the candle does go above <clears throat> two standard deviations, and it hasn't closed yet. Uh, what are the odds that it will go to three standard deviations? 
and it is um it's still it's still um what is this oh yeah <clears throat> there's a 40 percent chance so it was keep in mind it was a 15 or it was an 85 percent chance that it's not going to go above three standard deviations okay but once it goes above two that jumps to 40 percent chance it'll hit so now it's 40 percent chance which is still underneath um which is still something we can still have edge on, but it's it goes to a 40% chance that it'll actually go above 30 standard deviations. Now, if it does, say, go above 3 standard deviations, it hits that 40% chance of hitting that. Well, it, it turns a 85% chance it's not going to do it, and then it goes into a 60% chance it's not going to do it, but it actually chooses the smallest odds and it actually goes and it goes greater than three standard deviations, what are the odds that it'll go less than, what is this? What are the odds that it'll go less than three, uh, it'll close less than three standard deviations at that point. It's a 50-50 chance. <laughs> so, oh man, it's, it's hard to bet on this because it's just, um, if we see an abnormal candle, see something wild, um, there's not that much of a threshold that it can keep on popping into the next standard deviation. I mean, if we do the same thing with three standard deviations, it goes three. What are the odds it'll go four? I mean, there's a 40% chance it'll actually go four, but if it so does, um, there's only a 50% chance it'll close less than four, but what are the odds? It'll go to the next standard deviation. It's 50-50 chance that it'll go to five standard deviations at that point. So, but it started off, remember, at 3%. So it's like, this candle is just now getting above one standard deviation. What are the chances it'll go to five standard deviations? And there's only a 3% chance that it'll actually go above three sta or above five standard deviations. There's a 6% chance it'll go above four. I mean, there's a... 16% chance it'll go above three, but if it does go above three, what are the odds that it goes to four? And um, we see that it's a 40% chance it'll go to four, and then a 20% chance it'll go to five. So all of the, I mean, yeah, I mean, at this point, there's certain thresholds that if they aren't hit, we we can say, you know, we have edge that that is going to be the high of the candle and it's not going to go another standard deviation because there's a slim chance that it would so um, like I said um, the vast majority stay underneath one standard deviation um, but a quarter of them do go above one standard deviation um, and 60% um, of those actually stay within one standard deviation uh, but 40 percent do go greater than two standard deviations but most of them close so like i said most of them close within two standard deviations um yeah i mean it's, if it goes above two standard deviations there's a 60 percent chance that it'll actually close within two standard deviations so the two uh the two standard deviation mark is the most important Okay, so right now I have on the screen um, uh, something going on, right? Okay, so I want to show you on the 15 minute, um, just on a different chart because, man, there's not really any. Okay, okay, I just want to show you the zone that I'm looking at. Why can't I see anything? Um, the 15 minute, yo, where's my zone, bro? It's today. What is going on? Wait, 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 69, come on, go to the 60. Sorry about this. This is weird. This is really weird. The 
the 60 minute. Does this look right? Yeah, the timer is, okay, that's why. Sessions, regular session, okay, okay, now we're good. Okay, so we wanna go to the 15 minute. You see this zone, obviously. You gotta see this zone, man. Of course, of course, of course you see this zone. Yeah, it's a beauty. Protecting free space. I mean, protecting an all-time high up here. That's an all-time high. Um, right off the open, I mean, it goes up. So this zone was created in the early, early, early morning, 04. But this this hit at the market open. So this market open swings down, comes up, and uh, gets into this zone. So what uh, candle... Um, Let's see what candle it was on the 15 minute. So let's see what it was on the 60 minute. Okay. This this body, the candle going upwards. Okay. So uh, it's the same picture here. Um, this candle from the oops. Yeah, I can miss that. If the, from the open to the high is what 570 to 530 so about 40 yeah save our about 40 now what's the average um, plus one standard deviation is 30 plus two is 50 so it's brown here it's within one and two okay so it did not actually get above two standard deviations so looking back on this what did this candle do from the open all the way to the top right in our supply zone, it was actually within, it was actually, um, oops, greater than one standard deviation, okay, it goes, it get, went greater than one standard deviation, but not less, uh, but not more than two standard deviations, so it was right here, so it was, it, it got into the 60% mark where, um, um, it goes greater than two standard deviations. Okay. Or no, sorry. It goes greater than one standard deviation, but then it doesn't go more than two standard deviations. Um, does it close less than one standard deviation? Yes, probably. Definitely. Yeah. Which is 35. What is it? No, 25. Mm -hmm. 25 so it actually closes less than one standard deviation so it goes greater than one standard deviation almost to two but not didn't top it and it comes down um, and closes actually less than one standard deviation on this candle um, and, and it helped the supply zone out so let me tell you like it helped hitting the supply zone um, on an aggressive candle. So I want to show you on the 15 minute chart, okay, what these candles were. Because this green candle right here was probably off the charts. It's probably more than two standard deviations. So bear with me, it takes a little bit of thinking power and thinking time for this thing to load. But so I'm guessing it went over three standard deviations, but not over four. So I'll say it goes greater than three standard deviations. There's a 60% chance it'll go over four. Uh, sorry, there's a 40% chance it'll go over four. <laughs> Probably stayed in and within that. Uh, what are the odds that it closed less than three? 50%. The close is less than two at that point. 25%. Um, so it's probably not that because... 15 minute closed relatively high but all in all we want to know that uh, we want to know that the market is overextended in our supply zone so not only does our supply zone work nicely because it is a supply zone it's a nice uh, one that protects free space and it's outside of range but also um, the fact that the also the fact that it's overextended so like not even the fact that it's in a quality supply zone 
but the fact that it's over extended right that's what I want to know um, that's what we're trying to figure out basically okay all right so let's check it out let's check it out so this um, candle right here this entry candle I would say this is the entry candle but um, there was some wild events that happened right here so this would be the entry candle from the high to the open 64 to 27 and it's 37 so at that point what is the average average is 8 this one 37 plus one standard deviation is 15 plus 2 is 23 um, so it actually went uh, 30, uh, 37 divided by, wait, 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 plus 2 to plus 1, so 23 minus 15. So it, it goes 8, 8 standard deviations, so, sorry, 8 is the standard deviation, what's 37 divided by 8? 4. So it goes four and a half standard deviations upwards. So usually the candles are normal. And then this candle, it goes four and a half. Like I said, this is way up there. See, it's way above average. And it is a big candle because it closes really high. Um, but it, at some point, it was four and a half standard deviations, not getting to five. So let's look at the odds. It goes greater than four standard deviations. And then we go see what are the odds that it'll get to goes greater than five standard deviations, and there's a 50/50 chance. Um, but what are the odds that it actually closes less than five standard deviations? That is an 80% chance. So if it doesn't go above five standard deviations, <laughs> yeah, it's obviously not going to close above <laughs> five standard deviations. Um, but 50/50 chance at all. Uh, so it went 4.5 standard deviations. It's a 50-50 chance it'll go underneath 4 standard deviations. And there's only a 25% chance that it'll uh, close less than 3. Um, but in this case, it closed less than 3 and a little bit greater than 2 standard deviations, as you can see on that dot. So it, um, right here, so it closed... So it went over four standard deviations, but then it closed less than three standard deviations, but greater than two. So 25% chance of doing that. That's pretty wild. So, um, yeah, and like I said, this bar is literally 2% of the time the, these bars happen. 2% of the time. And we're not, we're not looking at overnight rates. We're looking at from 8 o'clock in the morning um till till 1600 so four o'clock so basically we're looking at um we're essentially looking at um just the daytime activities so two percent of the time the daytime does that if it if we put in overnight rates i mean that'll weigh down the denominator making the average lower because it doesn't go as much overnight see all this you know it's all overnight um, which makes the range smaller, and then this would be probably like freaking six, seven, eight standard deviations of a candle, which doesn't really make sense. So, but anyways, this is what happened. Uh, this next one, I think it went, um, maybe we can see how much it went, but, um, 20, 29. I mean, this went like three and a half standard deviations, this one. So this one went, you know, goes greater than three. Um, what's the odds that it will go greater than four? I mean, only 40% of the time it does that. So this this happened to be um, in the 60% region of saying, oh, went out 3.5. What are the odds that it'll go four? Um, not very high. 60% um, or 60% chance that it won't go to four, and it's right in the zone. 
keep in mind that the next standard deviation would be plus 8, so... Wait, wait a second. So from AC, from the average to the one standard deviation is, um, is 8. So 8 is one standard deviation. Yep, basically 8. Okay, sounds good. Anyways, I want to make sure that is the truth. And then this is at 3.5 standard deviations. And then to get to the distal line, which I don't think it should pass, right? That's my distal line. Um, it would be what? It'll be so it'll be eight. <laughs> so this is one full standard deviation. Um, one full standard deviation to get to the distal line. So it's at 3.5 standard deviations right now. Um, it probably won't go. I mean, it's at 3.5. I can't get it to 4.5. So um, it's at 3.5. What are the odds it'll go to greater than 4? I mean, greater than 4. I mean, there's still a 60% chance to go greater than 4, but there's a only a 20% chance it'll go greater than 5 standard deviations. Um, so we, we're sitting at 80% chance if we put our stop there, if we put our stop above the distal line, uh, just like this, we got an 80% chance that it won't be hit, at least on this current candle, because it's overextended. So we're sitting on good edge. We have good edge, at least in the short term, until this candle prints. Okay, so let's go back to the 60 and see um, how many, how much further away the distal line would be. Okay. Wow, I tried something else, huh? try this later because um, this is just looking at the 9 a.m. bar the 9 a.m. bar study isn't that wild so oh my gosh yeah probability that the average kennel body is hit within X bar what do you mean if the 9 a.m. bar is greater than average but less than one standard deviation Hit what? What are the odds it comes back to the plus average candle body line? So if you see from this picture, 9 a.m. bar is this red one. Um, no, it isn't. Are you sure? Because that's, that's quite the bar. Why is the average candle body that freaking huge? Because it's the 9 a.m. bar. I see what you're saying. So we only take into account, see, 9 a.m. bars. We only take into account 9 a.m. bars, and this is past the average 9 a.m. bar. And, um, yeah, that's interesting. We'll do that after this. But, um, what was the 60 minute plus over two standard deviations? Oops, I forgot what it was. The high minus open, uh, 40. What was that? Standard deviation is 31 minus 13. 31 minus 19, what, 12? Okay, 40 divided by 12. Okay, three and a half. So it goes three and a half standard deviations. Um, and what's the distal line at? Eight, so eight more than that. Um, three and a half right now. Uh, plus twelve. <laughs> three and a half. So let's drop this down by six. Seventy minus six, which would be four. Which is basically about here. So let's move that. 
Okay, so it hits our proximal line at three standard deviations. What's our distal line at? Fourteen. So our distal line is at basically, basically at uh, four standard deviations. So this plus three. There you go. There you go. There you have it. So plus three standard deviations, it hits. And we're like, whoa, it's above three standard deviations at this point. Um, there's only a, uh, there's a 60% chance it actually won't go to this four standard deviations. Um, and there's a high probability chance it'll actually close uh, underneath four standard deviations. There's an 80% chance that it will close underneath four standard deviations right here. And um, at this point, there's also a, um, there's a 25% chance that it will close less than two standard deviations. So we can't bet on that. Um, we, no, we can't bet on that happening, but look at this. Wow, it closed actually at the average candle body, which is a, which is a only 12% chance of happening, but that's, that's what, that's what occurred because it hit this supply zone and just absolutely tanked. It just went straight downwards, um, totally down and just, it really pivoted. It really did. Um, because it was overextended and in a supply zone. It was overextended. It was past three standard deviations. Only 4% of the time it does that. And it literally just sent downwards. Um, and it goes greater than four standard deviations. No, it doesn't. So it's like a 60% chance of it not going to four standard deviations. So you got a 60% chance. How, what are the odds of this zone working? You know what I mean? What are the odds that it'll work? That's hard to say. It really is because there's a 60% chance that it won't hit four standard deviations. There's an 80% chance that it won't close above four standard deviations, okay? And there's also, so those odds are in our favor, okay? But there's only a 50% chance that it'll close less than three standard deviations. So it goes above three standard deviations, okay? Once it gets above three, once it gets into this distal, uh, the end of our zone, so is there's a 50 50 chance of it actually closing less than the proximal line so that does not help us at all so it's a bit confusing it's tough it's hard but um let's just look at this 9 a.m bell just just for kicks right um so if the 9 a.m bar is so this 9 a.m bar i think that's it yeah, there we go. So the same bar that we're looking at is actually plus three standard deviations right here, plus four right here. Um, and this bar got greater than three, but less than four. So let's look at what happens. So this bar, 9 a.m. bar got greater than, greater than three, but less than four right here. So that means the average candle body, this means it hits on the 10 a.m candle so that the ACB will be hit within X bars so now we've got an actual discussion here so now we got an average candle body length which is uh, 12 plus the open so 31 plus 12 43 so let's drop this at 43 right here okay this right here that's our ACB, okay? This is our ACB. This is now our target, okay? This is our target in these statistical methods here. So it goes into our supply zone, okay? It goes greater than three standard deviations, but less than four standard deviations. And now we've got a 40% chance that'll actually hit the... Um, hit the average candle body it'll come back and hit the average line boom right here um 44 of the time 44 percent of the time it'll actually hit 
less than two standard deviation, or sorry, less than two candles, less than three, less than four, less than five, all 44% of the time. Um, if not hit on the 10 a.m. bar percent chance, it will not hit by end of day. 100%? Whoa. So, wait a second. So, if not hit on the 10 a.m. bar, if not hit on the very next bar, the percent chance it will not be hit by the end of day. It's a 100% chance. So if this actually doesn't hit on this next bar, which it obviously did, holy crap, did it, right? See, it, like, it literally opened up on the average. But like, if it were to continue upwards, if it stays up here, it actually doesn't hit on the 10 a.m. bar, we can know um, basically 100% that it's not not gonna hit by the end of the day so now we can protect this zone and go upwards upwards from there so um, if not hit by the second bar what's the percent chance it will not be hit by the end of the day so if the 10 a.m. actually doesn't hit it what are the chances it still will not hit by the end of the day and those odds would only go up okay so prob probability oh what am, what's the difference here? I don't get what the difference is here. Um, wait a second. If the bar closes, so this is the, if the bar closes greater than average candle body and it does not ever get greater than one standard deviation. Okay, there we go. So this is if it goes greater than average candle body and closes less than one standard deviation, but it can go greater than one standard deviation. So this is interesting. So now we're actually putting into the close of the bar. What are the odds that it closes? So actually this one went greater than three standard deviation, but closes less than three. So that might tilt the odds a little bit. So this is greater than, sorry. Yeah, greater than three. This is, yeah. Bar closes greater than ACB and closes. Bar closes greater than ACB and closes less than one standard deviation. Oh, that's interesting. So it goes greater than three, but closes less than four. That's obvious. Okay, that's obviously. Um, but it goes greater than two and closes less than three. It actually goes it closes less than, what does this one do? It closes less than two. It closes at average, dude. It closes at average. So this went greater than a candle body, okay? And closes less than one standard deviation. But it goes greater than, yeah. So that, that means the odds are of hitting that average candle body is very high. 80% chance that it'll hit that ACB. Super interesting, super interesting. Um, I had this zone plotted for a long time, and look at that puppy work. Let me tell you guys. Wow. Wow. It's a freaking beast. That's all I can say is uh, I was looking at 2 to 1. It hit 2 to 1 on the very next candle, went 3 to 1, and then now it's going, you know, let's... I mean, it's probably going to six to one. Yep, just went six to one. I mean, that's huge money, dude. Huge, bro. Huge, huge, huge. That's multiplying your account or multiplying. I mean, that's just gigantic, bro. Uh, so we got to take these zones, and I think we are. Uh, we're doing phenomenal uh, in, in really understanding what we actually have to do. Um, yeah, honestly, I think we're in a really good spot. Um, I don't quite know. Even this whole talk was about the using statistics for your for the right methods and stuff. But still, I don't quite know what I'm what I'm doing with this because if it goes this much. Sure, there's an eighty percent chance it'll hit the ACB or like there's a what? I mean, this one's is a fifty fit. It's basically 40, 60 chance and it'll hit the ACB. It doesn't really help me that much. 
um, and earlier if it was like um, yeah earlier if I mean if it goes greater than three standard deviations which it did um, I mean what are the odds that it'll close less than three <laughs> 50 50 what are the odds that it'll go to four you know it's a 60% chance it won't go to, won't go to four so there's a 60% chance it won't stop me out I mean great I mean that's a 60% chance it's not that's not something to put too much money on so but overall um, the most important is uh, the zones that work and basically I figured out that if it protects free space and it's outside of range so not sitting in the middle of the range um, it's much more likely to work and this just so happens to be protecting all-time high at that pivot this is a zone protecting that free space before it gets to there so even on the five minute it is free space see that there's free space up to here um, and that's relatively a large amount of free space and this candle remember you know this candle on the 60 minute was already above three standard deviations um, there's a 60 percent chance it'll go to four there's an even less percent chance it'll go to five it breaks through there's an 80 percent chance it won't go to five standard deviations which it would have to take to get to that next level so we like uh, when price is overextended and uh, goes into our zone so that's what happens